You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to Adorama TV iPad App Reviews. I'm Mark Wallace. Well today we're looking at Padport and Padport is the solution for all of those people that want a really sleek, very easy to use, high-end portfolio on your iPad to show uh, potential clients your work. So let's take a closer look at Padport and see what it can do for you. Let's take a closer look at Padport. Now when you open Padport you're going to see this beautifully simple screen that will have your name or your studio name, your job title, and then a list of your portfolios. And then down at the lower right, you're going to have some contact information and the about page. And I'll talk to you about how to customize this uh, because it's very, very simple. So before we do that, let me first show you how the portfolios work. They work exactly as you would expect. So here's one of Brenda. If I click on that, we see the photos in that portfolio and then I can just scroll through those. And so it's just a really clean and simple interface and that's exactly what we'd expect out of a portfolio. And so once I click on this, I can go back here and say back, just like that, and it's gonna take me, actually I have to click on it, uh, take me back to uh, the home screen. Now this quick guide is a portfolio that comes built in and so that you can look at that and learn all of the different things about Padport. So it'll tell you exactly how to configure everything. And so once you're done with that, then you can just get rid of uh, that portfolio and I'll show you how to do that here in a second. Now to customize all this stuff, there's this little icon on the lower left and you just click on that and then it's very, very simple. So to change the profile settings, you're right here at the profile screen and you just have to tap on any of those things and type in exactly uh, the, the uh, title or the name or the email address, whatever you want to show up there, you just type it in, it's just that simple. Now if you want to, you can leave any of these blank. Anything that you leave blank will not show up on the home screen, which is really nice. Now over here there's an about and a representation text box and that will allow you to type in who's representing you or your bio. Now by design they have some tips that are in there and I'm going to leave those so that I can show you how that would look. But you can totally customize those obviously or you can leave them blank and they won't show up on the home screen. Now another little thing that you can do is you can just leave everything blank and then you can create a custom home page from a graphic and then uh, that will uh, replace all that text. Now to do that, you go in here to the settings and they have some different um, themes. And so the home page theme, you can say, I want a splash image, something that uh, pops up. So I'll choose this image right here. You can have a home image and that would be that thing that floats on the back of the screen. You can change your primary and secondary color. So you can change uh, not only what the text is, but the color of the text, if it's even there, uh, the background images, all that kind of stuff. And then there's another, um, another theme called Essential. We'll just leave that as is. So I'll go back here. And then what we'll do is we'll say, well, we're going to choose um, the, the Minimalist as our home screen, not the Essential. And then I'll show you what that works like. Now, you can show portfolios in sequence or you can customize how they show up. And then also you can hide the dashboard access. So this little, that little icon over there, you can get rid of that so it doesn't even show up. And to then get into all of these configuration areas, then what you do is you hold the top right corner and tap the left corner to display. So you have to sort of do a two-handed thing. So I'm going to leave that off, but you can get rid of that. And that way you can sort of hand that to art directors and things. Then what you can do here are your portfolios. And so that quick guide, we don't really want that to show up. So I can just turn it off. And there it goes, it's done. Now I'm going to add a new portfolio just to show you how easy it is. And this one I'm going to call India. So I'll just type in India. There it is. And then I'll say I'm done. Now India has zero images. So what I can do here is go over here and it's going to ask me uh, certain things. So the first thing it's going to do is ask me what the name is. We already named that. It's going to ask what the theme is. Well, we want it to be either be minimal or essential. I really like this minimalist. That will match what we've done. It's going to ask if I have a thumbnails screen. So I'm going to turn that on just to show you how it works. On the Brenda portfolio, we didn't have thumbnails. It just came right into our photos. With the thumbnail screen turned on, what you get is a bunch of thumbnails, and then you can click on those to go to a specific image. So obviously, these shots of Brenda don't match our India portfolio. So what I need to do is click Add Media. Now when I do that, it brings up my photo albums. So I can go in here and I can start adding photos from India. Now one of the things that uh, is something I hope they improve is when you add these, 
Um, they are adding, but you can't see them because they're adding below the screen. And so uh, it's sort of difficult to know when you're adding something. So I hope in a new version, they will fix that. So I'm just gonna click a few of these images. And then once we're done with that, then uh, we'll go in and make a new portfolio. So I've added a few images here. And then I'm going to click off of this. And then we'll go down here. And you can see that here are the images that I've added from India. So once again, it's sort of difficult to know that those are in there, but that's how you do it. Now, all I need to do is I can start dragging these images up into my portfolio. And so we'll put these kids up here. These guys were a lot of fun. So you push and hold and then drag and drop. Push, hold, drag, drop. So you get that little outline. Just like that. Now, if you have an image that you don't want to even be in your media library, you push and hold. And then in a second, there's going to be a little X that pops up there. You tap on that and it gets rid of it. So that is uh, an easy way to add images to your portfolio. Now, once that's done, I can go to the back screen. I've got eight images um, in my Brenda portfolio. Now it shows I have five images in my India. Uh, portfolio. Now the other thing you can do is there's a library screen here and you can add all your media right here to this library and so then instead of having to go out to your um, out to your photos you can just go to your image uh, your media library and those are there by default and then there's a bunch of help files to help you understand exactly how to use Padport and then of course there's the about us so if you need some support this is where you would go to get support for Padport. Now we're gonna go back to this home screen here. Now you can see the changes that we've made. Brenda is still there, India is now there, and then the other portfolio, the help file, well, it's gone. So now I can click on India, and you'll see that that pops up with the thumbnails, and then I can just choose one of these thumbnails, and then I'm into the portfolio itself. So there are two different ways, again, to show your portfolios. You can do that through uh, something like this, where it just goes straight to the images, or you can show the thumbnails like we did on India. Now the other thing is we have this contact, so you can go in here and you can read all the contact information. Here's where you'd have the representation stuff that we talked, out, talked about earlier, or you can have all of this just not show up at all if you don't want that. I don't know why you would leave out contact information, that's sort of the point. And then here is the about page, so you can write in your bio, and then when you click off of that, it goes back to your really nice, perfectly simple homepage. And that is Padport, a really powerful, clean, and easy to use portfolio presentation tool for your iPad. Well, that's Padport, a really powerful application that allows you to show your portfolio to potential buyers, clients, etc. It's a great application for your iPad. Well, remember, if you have an iPad app that you'd like me to review, you can send your suggestion to askmark at adorama.com, and we might just review it here on the show. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next time. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.